Howdy folks, let's talk about killing mosquitoes. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't hate those little buggers? Yeah. <laughs> I won't get into the statistics or any of that garbage. Uh, what I want to do is just really quickly go over a little bit of the history of mosquito killing and what we have in here today. If you've watched the show in the last few weeks, I've been in here swatting mosquitoes while I'm talking to y'all on the camera. Yeah, it's like, it's just been that kind of a situation here. Um, in southern Texas, we've had lots of, uh, you know, humidity, we've had some rain, and the mosquitoes have been swarming around, so it's been really bad. Now, today, I can tell you right now, in my shop, there is no mosquitoes flying around. There just isn't any. Now, the history of mosquito swatting, well, that goes way back. And this one right here is thousands of years old. This is really super old technology. This was uh, picked up in Central America. I've showed it before, I believe, on the show, but it, um, I brought this back from the Central American uh, Mayan uh, folks because they make these to this day, and they've made them for thousands of years. It's kind of like a horsetail, but it's made from a, a branch out of a bush down there, and the women take it and pound it on rocks and spread it out until it's, well, until it's like, you know, like it looks like a whisk broom or something. And the Mayans, uh, would take these and carry them with them all day long and do, you know, this sort of activity to keep the mosquitoes off you. And it was actually, it's, it's very effective. I have used it here quite a bit. If it gets really bad, I will take this with me and, you know, if they start to swarm around me, I'll start swatting. And I've even been able to swat like this in front of me and catch mosquitoes and kill them with this simple tool. It's it is really, you know, it's amazing and it's thousands of years old. That is really some old technology. But what we're looking at today is a uh, high tech stuff. And, you know, I, I picked up one of these. This thing here is useless. Uh, it's from Harbor Freight, it takes batteries, it zaps the bugs or whatever, the insects. And again, you know, I think to tell you the truth, between the two, I'd rather have this. Yeah, you know, works better. <laughs> and no batteries needed, you know. Uh, I wanted to show you something too, uh, liquid or chemical type uh, killing agents such as uh, the deals where you, you know, do it yourself and you take the a, you know, plastic bottle, turn it upside down, put some soap in it and uh, set it up to trap mosquitoes. That works up north apparently. In the south for some reason the mosquitoes are not attracted to that thing and also there's light and other issues with it but it, I've set those up a number of times in desperation when it gets really bad here and it just does not work. We don't even, you know, we don't catch one mosquito. Now I'm going to show you something that came out a few years ago and it's not bad. It's, it, a lot of people said, no, nah, this doesn't work. Well, I found it works, but it's, it's sluggish, it's slow, it, it, uh, it just didn't really, you know, doesn't take care of the problem, doesn't eliminate them completely, not at least not for me. Uh, and here we are. This is, uh, these aren't that bad. Uh, they're not, I don't think they're the end of ends for killing mosquitoes, but they do seem to help control the insect situation. And I'm just going to open this up. Uh, it's a fan with a special light that sort of traps them and they die. They dry out and die because of the fan. But it just plugs into a USB. So it's kind of cool. It's, uh, they're not too expensive, but I'll just show you what's in the bottom of the trap here. See, it'll give you some idea and we'll do a close up on this one. <laughs> yeah. Focus, focus. Okay, you can see that great big pile of dead bugs in there. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's caught a lot of flying insects. That It has caught a lot of flying insects. Now if I can just get the bottom back, there we go, back on. And actually, I'm going to go plug this thing back in and just leave it running. There are a lot of, uh, I guess we'll say variable reviews on this one. Sort of like, yeah, it works, no, it doesn't work. It's, you know, different people have had different problems with it. And the main thing is that fan has got to be running good. Everything's got to be just right. And if it's windy or anything like that, it's not going to catch anything. There's just certain things about it that it may or may not work. And sometimes I uh, have actually opened the trap up to empty it and a whole bunch have flown back out. And it's like, oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't need that. And today we're going to look at something that's solar powered and chargeable and kills insects, flying insects. Yeah, and it's, it's kind of a zap. It is a zapper but it's not the bug zapper like we grew up with. So in that text of killing mosquitoes, we have a new one. We have a new machine here and it came in. And I've got to thank uh, the gang over at uh, Pet Pest Sniper. <laughs> yeah, good name. Uh, 
for sending this in because we decided last night we were going to test it. Now, what is this thing? Well, it's a bug zapper and it also is solar charged bug zapper, a little different twist on things. And it also can be charged up from a USB to USB, fully charged and ready to go. Now, under full charge, they say overnight, it can run up to 15 hours. So it'll make it through the night and the next morning, sun comes out, bang, you know, start charging on the uh, solar again. So cool, you know, nice product, interesting. Maintenance free, but it, you know, it's not on the grid I like that. You know, it's not using electricity but it's zapping the, the bugs in here. So it's not plugged into my house. Cool, yes. Now it has a switch over here where you can turn this thing on and off and it also has a little rubberized tab here. Waterproof, yeah. So they're telling me. So again, good. It runs about 800 volts. So it will kill the bugs as they get in there. But now this is a little bit different and this is where you kind of need to be aware of what's gonna happen. Uh, there isn't gonna be a big white flash and a zap noise, you know, it's, it's not gonna make any sound. It just kills them quietly. The insects, the mosquitoes, the gnats, all that, dead. So that's a good thing. Now, last night, we took this out in the backyard and left it out for exactly one hour. Uh, this morning, brought it back in, did one of these, tapped it a little, tapped it a little bit, and yeah, there's dead mosquito bodies still falling out of this thing. It didn't look to me like it was even working because it was so quiet and I could see the pretty lights that are in here. It's a little, let's see if I can turn that on now in here with all the lighting I've got. I don't know if it's going to work in here because it's, uh, yeah, so I thought we're, it's a little too light in here. So I can't get the light on. Yeah. But the, um, out in the dark, you know, this thing lights up. It's actually a really nice piece of, uh, decorative lamp for camping and or gardening or outside around the, the property. The first thing I've noticed was uh, after this experiment last night was that uh, what is dead and fell out of here is one thing, but also there was a lot of uh, bugs hitting it and dying and falling off last night. And so in that one hour, I uh, really don't have a way to gauge how many insects we killed. So last night with the one hour test, I, it was like, you know, I, this thing is actually doing a really good job. I'm just, I'm just not seeing it. It's like, it's like weird. Yeah. Because it doesn't make any noise. You don't see the big white flash. And I was sitting there for that hour looking at it and thinking, oh boy, you know, this could be a bad review. Well, no, it's a good review. Because what happened last night was a lot of the bugs would hit this and fall off. So what's captured here was only what was stuck inside this. And the reason I know what happened was because all of a sudden we had raccoons, possums, skunk, whatever, all hanging around the base of this thing and eating the insects off the ground that were dead, that had freshly been killed by this thing. So in that one hour, it actually killed a lot more than what's on my piece of paper here or something. It is a working machine. It does do an interesting job. Now, uh, the second test, I guess you could say, is I've had mosquitoes in here all last couple of weeks. In fact, while I've even been talking to you guys, you've probably seen me a couple of times do a couple of these, you know, slapping a mosquito or something, biting me. And so I left this on, but I left it in the garage here last night. Now this morning I get in here, there is zero. There are no flying bugs, no mosquitoes, nothing biting in here today. They are gone. I know why they're gone. This thing ate them. <laughs> it destroyed them. Now, it's an interesting uh, product because it, it's... It just looks after itself, it maintains itself. It self charges and zaps the bugs. I've had bug zappers way back in the past and I've always sort of, they're sort of like, a, you know, they're sort of good. They kind of kill all the bad bugs, but they also kill a few good bugs. It was kind of, yeah, you know, not too crazy about that. Now this one here actually has like a UV uh, lamp that puts out a certain type of lighting that all uh, the bugs, are, you know, mosquitoes, gnats, that kind of thing, are attracted to. In fact, they gave me a list. I think there's mosquitoes, gnats, and uh, there's some other bugs that these things will go after. But uh, basically, you know, uh, fruit flies, moth, uh, gnats, you know, that sort of thing. So yeah, and mosquitoes, of course. Yes, mosquitoes, kill them, kill them all. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's uh, it's a good product actually, and I'm really surprised because again, like I said, I'm kind of usually not too up on this sort of thing, but being it was solar powered and it looks after itself, was like you know what, this might be an interesting product to have around. You know, actually, I wouldn't mind having about ten of these things on this property right now because uh, it does seem like it's totally cleaned the area out. Now it does say that uh, the immediate area, about four or five hundred square feet around, 
those bugs, those insects, they are going to come in here. They're going to die, you know. Yeah, so it's going to kill them. Uh, there's two different ways to hang this thing. First off, we're going to start with the poles. They send you a set of poles plus a ground spike so you can, you know, set it in the ground and just stick it in the ground like that and have it somewhere, you know, someplace where you like to have it, like say, decorative lighting, whatever, and killing insects. The other one is on the back here. They've got two uh, slotted screw holes. So you could hang this thing up someplace on the side of the house or around the garage or, or uh, around the shed or wherever it is you want to, you know, kill the insects, especially where they're concentrated, of course, where you can get the swarm and get rid of them. The uh, charging only takes about, I think it was three and a half hours. So it's very slow, but it charges up real nice. And with it being able to last 15 hours overnight, obviously the next day you're going to have pretty much enough solar power coming in, hopefully the next day to fully charge this thing back up so that week to week, day to day, whatever, this thing's going to look after itself, that light's always going to come on. So it has lots of interesting, good features. Um, I try to make a few notes about this because the, yeah, 430 square foot area immediately is uh, coverage, you know, so you might want to get a couple of these things out there. The other thing that I uh, was noticing between last night and this morning was like I said, it doesn't zap. So I was really sure this thing, tell you the truth, I was pretty sure it wasn't working. Now, the other thing was besides the paper and all it fell off, I'm looking in there and I can still see, yeah, there's a lot of bug bodies in there, mosquitoes specifically, that are still hung up in here that are dead from last night from the 800 volts going through them. <laughs> yeah. But it's just, uh, it's an interesting product, but it kind of scares me because I think a lot of people like myself are going to get a hold of this, put it out there, see the light on and think, you know, is it, is it zapping? Is it working? What's it doing? But if you take a close look and look through the grill here and see all the dead bugs, you'll realize, oh yeah, this thing is killing some bugs, you know, that's a, you know, and one less bug is good around here because God knows the mosquitoes in this garage have been terrible the last few weeks and today from leaving that thing overnight in here with all lights off. Yeah, it did a really nice job. This uh, it's a good product. I'm gonna provide you a link in the description below. Uh, I think we might have a discount coupon and on sale price or something going on with it. So we'll see, we hope, from uh, the gang over there. And uh, maybe you might wanna pick one of these up, especially if the mosquitoes around you are as bad as they are around me right now. It's like, and it's that time of year. We're gonna have mosquitoes until what? September, October, I don't know. Uh, right now, I am not gonna have much in the way of mosquitoes around here anymore. <laughs> not after having this. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I think we got rid of the mosquito problem. <laughs> it was like, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, and subscribe, ring the notice bell, and uh, kill some mosquitoes <laughs> over and out. <laughs>